for this problem, we have somebody named Coach Wynn. And they are buying hot dogs for uh, some kind of team, probably a sports team. So they wanted eight hamburgers and six hot dogs. So it says that hamburgers cost 50 cents more than hot dogs. And it cost Coach Wind $32 to buy all of this stuff. So they want to know how much each item cost. So in order to do this problem, I like to set up kind of a base equation. Alright, this here is my hot dogs. And this here is my hamburgers. So Coach Wind, he's buying some hot dogs and hamburgers, so we're adding those costs together. And this problem says that it costs him $32. So what we have to do is we have to think about how much it costs for hamburgers and hot dogs, right? So, so he's buying eight hamburgers according to this problem. So I'm going to have eight times whatever hamburgers cost. All right. And then in terms of hot dogs, I know I'm buying six hot dogs with with uh, Coach Wind. And I'm going to multiply that six by however much hot dogs cost. That way we get an actual cost here. So what we need is we need a little bit of help filling in those blanks. So that's where this orange sentence, sentence helps us. What it does is it gives us a second equation to consider. This says that hamburgers, I'm going to call those um, B for burgers, it says they equal 50 cents more than hot dogs. So if I take the hot dogs, I'm going to use a D for dog, and I, I add 50 cents to it, it will equal a hamburger. Okay, so, so where the hot dogs are, I could put the letter D, okay, because that stands for hot dogs. But for the hamburgers, I'm going to put this expression, D plus 50 cents. So now my, my equation here with hamburgers and hot dogs, all that it has is one variable in there. It just has the unknown hot dog value, D. So I can actually go through and solve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase my text that's under here. And let's actually, uh, let's get it done. So the first thing I would do here is I would use the distributive property right here on this set of parentheses. That way we, we don't have these parentheses anymore. So I have 8 times D is 8D. And then 8 times 50 cents is 4. So then the rest of the problem, I still have an equals 32. And here, 6 times D is 6 So now here I have some like terms that I can go ahead and combine. So 6D plus 8D is 14D. I still have my plus 4 and equals 32. So now I have to get rid of any addition or subtraction before I can get rid of the multiplication here. So I'm going to subtract 4 from each side of the equal sign. So this gives me 14D is equal to 28. And then here, the 14 and the D, when you have a letter and a number touching like this, that's multiplication. So to undo multiplication, I'm going to divide both sides by 14. And that leaves me with D is equal to 2. So one hot dog is $2.
So now we have to go through and figure out the cost of the, the burger, the hamburger. So this takes me back to this first equation, right? It says that a hamburger is equal to a hot dog plus 50 cents. So I can actually go through and I could just plug in that two dollars where the D is and I can solve. So two dollars plus 50 cents is two dollars and fifty cents. So I would then say one hamburger is 250.